Hey everyone! So I've been going more natural lately because I just don't feel like caking all the black on like I normally do. So I decided to do something different for you guys in a video. This is how I've been wearing my makeup lately, minus the lip gloss. I've just been going with a natural lip, but I decided to put gloss on for y'all. Here it is! Just, just keep watching and I'll show you what all I used and all that stuff. And I'll see you guys later. Bye! So I don't have any makeup on right now and I'm just going to start from nothing and I'm going to do a little makeup tutorial for y'all. First I'm going to apply something to cover up these little things that I plucked on today. I shouldn't have, but I did. Um, I was using this Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil Free Makeup and I find that it dries my face out really bad, but it also dries up the you know, problems. So if you're having some problems, this is good. But I quit using it for a couple days because I think it's clogging my pores. Because I noticed, like, I mean, I have, like, blackheads on my chin, you know, just like the ones on your nose. But I noticed that I was getting, like, tons of other bumps down here. And they weren't red bumps. They just look like clogged pores. So I'm going to lay off of that for a few days to see if there's any changes. I'm running out of lotion and I really need to go get some. And I have my hair down to do my makeup, which I normally don't do, but I decided to just try to do something different today. I don't know. I don't see how you girls do your makeup with your hair down. It's just weird. Like, I don't want my hair in my face lotion or in my foundation. Like, it's going to get greasy looking by the end of the day, so... Yeah, why would I want to get, like, more grease in it? Okay, so I don't know why I feel like doing everything different today, but I'm going to. I haven't used this in forever. It's the, um, the Duo Concealers from Physicians Formula, but I really feel like I need something to cover up all these red spots because I don't feel like they're going to cover up good today. Plus, the weather's nasty outside, so my skin's going to be extra nasty. Oh my god, I wonder how, like, what do boys think when they're watching these videos and they see chicks, like, putting the stuff all over their face? And they're probably thinking, ew, that's what she looks like under all of that makeup? Yeah, I'm the Wicked Witch of the West, baby! <laughs> Both of these are physician's formula. I know I'm like putting a lot of stuff on today, but I'm just, I'm feeling like it. Okay, because I'm in one of those really weird moods. This is e.l.f. Um, Flawless Finish Foundation. You know what? I'm not that big of a fan of using foundation brushes. I don't know why. When I watch girls do makeup videos, like, they make it look like it's just going on so perfectly, and that they look perfect, and blah, 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 and that their skin looks so smooth while they're using this brush. But I find that when I use a foundation brush, I look crusty. Oh my god, I'm being negative Nancy today. I'm not meaning to be, though. I'm just being honest. Like, I'd just rather use my fingers. I don't know. The brush... I don't know. I mean, do I look flawless and wonderful to you right now? I didn't think so. Let me use my nasty old sponge that is filled with bacteria. It's probably what's breaking my face out, and here I'm blaming the Neutrogena stuff for clogging up my pores, and it's probably just me clogging up my own pores. Okay, am I the only girl on earth that gets, like, foundation or concealer in their eye and then, like, the inside of their eye starts itching, like, terribly? Because that's happening to me right now and it's really driving me nuts. Okay, so I got most of that covered, but I still haven't covered, like, these little things over here. So I'm going to use my concealer palette from Sedona Lace. And I'm just going to pat some of that color on there. Okay, next I'm going to put some bronzer on. This is a bronze booster and this is a bronzer. They're both from Physicians Formula. 
and it's really light so I don't have to look like an Oompa Loompa. I can just put like a little bit of color on me. And then I'm going to take this bronze booster. I really love this poofy. And it's like these little loose balls. I'm also going to add this. It is also from Physicians Formula and it is a Mineral Glow Pearls and it's translucent pearls. And I'm just going to put it like here as a cheek highlighter. Just to give me that little glow. Because I want to glow today. Next, I'm going to apply some blush. And this is Too Faced La Vienne Rose. Fish face it, girls. Then I'm also going to take this powder, which is from Physicians Formula. I'm sorry, I took the lid off. It looks like this, and it's mineral powder. It's mineral wear, talc-free, mineral airbrushing, loose powder, translucent, light. And I'm not going to use the brush that it comes with, even though I really like this brush. I'm going to use this big fat brush that I was using a second ago. Oh, no wonder my pores are clogged. Actually, you know what? I'd like to just go the rest of the day looking like this, but since I said I was going to do a makeup tutorial, I might as well finish it up, because I don't look too bad right now. I don't think I do anyway. Whatever. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply some primer. And for some reason, this primer is getting, like, really liquidy. It's really weird. Is that gunshots? <laughs> wow. Okay, give that a second to dry. Next, I'm going to take my Too Faced Pixie Pinup Palette. And I'm just going to do light eye makeup today. It's so weird, I know. Okay, so these are the colors it comes with, and the first one I'm going to be applying is called Heaven. I'm taking this top color called Leading Lady. Next, I'm going to take this middle color here at the bottom. It's called Like a Virgin. And I'm just going to lightly swipe it in my crease. Then I'm going to take this other color over here at the bottom. It's called Erotica. And it's slightly darker than the light color I just put on. And I'm just going to like put it down and up like that. Then I'm going to um, then I'm going to apply a white color in my waterline. Now the point of this is to make your eyes look bigger and more open. Um, if your eyes are already big, you can add black, which makes them look smaller. I actually love to put black on the inside of my eye, even though it makes my eye look smaller. But I think it just gives it like a really dark look, so I just happen to like it. Okay, unfortunately I'm done, and all I have to do now is the mascara. And I'm probably going to add just a little bit of brown liner on the bottom of my eye, which I guess I'll go ahead and do now. I was going to do it after my mascara, but I'll do it now. I'm just going to smudge it a little bit because I don't want no dark, harsh line. I just want it to look like it's all smudged and stuff. I'm not going to do it all the way around. I'm just going to do it to there, and then I'm going to apply my mascara. 
So, I'm pretty much done with my look. I just have some eyeshadow on and some mascara. And I lined the bottom of my eyes a little bit with the brown. Um, somebody had asked me a while back to do like an everyday look. Unfortunately, my everyday look is black liner, black eyeshadow everywhere. So, I decided to change it up a little bit. And... This is something easy you can wear every day. You can wear it to school, whatever. Um, if you want, you can take some liner and, like, you know, do a top line. If you want to add just a little bit more to your eyes, if you feel like you don't have enough on, like I feel right now. Um, or you could also go back, like I'm about to do, with this erotica and just add a little bit more of the dark in the crease. Because my eyes feel very naked right now. And lately, I've just been wearing a natural lip with this eye makeup because, I don't know, I just have been, because I've just been a little natural lately. Um, this is Lady Soma Chapstick, and it's Lady Mint Tingle. And this has antioxidants, it's moisturizing, and it's chemical free. And it's got, like, peppermint oil in it or whatever. Um... I kind of feel like finishing off this look with something on my mouth just because I don't want to leave you guys hanging like, you know what I'm saying? What could I use? Something light. Okay, how about this Too Faced Glamour Gloss and it's called Barely Legal. It smells really yummy. Oops, I think I need to blend that out right there. Mmm, smells so good. Alright, so I'm done with this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. And subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, tell me what you think about it. Do you think I need to go back to all of my black? Or do you think that I should lighten up for a while and just do this? I don't know. Um, so, alright, thanks for watching. Bye!